I'm gonna save the bomb for now. Surprise. Oh, I'm gonna go ahead and use it since that's just dash. Might be able to kill this guy. Just gonna auto him down. I sense I've made a mistake of. <laughs> <laughs> that is awesome. What's up, everybody? I'm back with another soloing play-by-play in the ZDA series. Today, we're going to be playing Thor. I'm using the furry skin because I am a furry. Huh? But before we get into the video, I want to wager a little bet with you guys, okay? I've been playing a lot of GeoGuessr lately. I enjoy it a lot. If you guys want to come up to one of those streams when I'm streaming GeoGuessr, I'd really appreciate it. Nonetheless, my wager is I'm going to tab out here, go to uh, GeoGuessr, do a country streak. One round. If I get the country right, you have to like the video. If I get the country wrong, then you can do whatever you want with the video, okay? But we have to agree now. Everybody agree? Before I tab out, okay, everybody's agreed. You're legally obligated, okay? All right, one round. I'm not gonna be able to move. Nope, just panning and zooming, okay? Let's see. Okay. Okay, bit of a difficult one. Um, looking like Czechia, though. Let's go Czechia. Let's go. The bollards were, were checking our Slovakian bollards plus the, the autumn coverage and everything. Looking pretty much like it. So that was actually a pretty hard one. Oh, I'll take that. You were legally obligated to like the video now, okay? And if you don't, we'll find out. And my lawyers will be in touch with you, okay? Let me go full screen now. Well, I mean, I'll take that. That was a huge dumb. Good start to the video, not gonna lie. Um, so yeah, we're gonna be playing Thor. Um, I was thinking about what to build on him. I'm not gonna go the full like tank tryhard build. Just because, you know, it's Thor. I mean, I've, I've played this god so many times. He's my highest worship god in the game. So, um, obviously, like, I have the most worship on him. So I don't, I don't worship him. I don't really worship anything. Um, not to get religious, though. Yeah, but, you know, screw it. We're going auto-attack Thor. We are going auto-attack Thor. I'm just crazy like that, you know what I mean? Sometimes I get crazy with it. Go gooseberries. And let's get this bread, shall we? Cheers, my friends. Got the wing chart, got the good and good Obviously, this is not a viable build, but I mean, I've played Thor so much. We got to do something crazy with it. Keep it fresh, keep it interesting. Especially because Thor is actually a pretty good soul laner right now. As a full tank, you can one shot people. Um, so, yeah. Our clear isn't going to be the greatest here. I think I was. I think I'm just going to rush Aussie. A little bit of lifesteal for the auto attack Thor. Probably pretty nice. I went Death's Toll just so I can have a decent lane. I think I'm against a Mulan? Or Thoth or something? I don't know what I'm against. Could be anybody, but I guess with our start, it doesn't really matter. It's not like I'm going to have like a tier 1 defense item for the wrong person. I did take a lot of damage there, but we have Destal, so surely we can heal it back up. Looks like it's either Scylla or Thoth solo. Which is not too fun for me. If it's Thoth, it is Thoth. That's a dash. Unfortunate. Can't really punish him for that. He did use all of his abilities on me though, so we might be able to outclear. I don't want to hammer this. Especially because he's looking to poke me again. But I didn't really hit the minions, so now I can hammer it. Because that's his one down. What if he's playing Thought Solo? He's going my build as well. He might be playing Thought Solo because of the recent video. Who knows? That's fine. Maybe I can avoid this. No. Yeah. It's, not, it's still fine. He's using his abilities on me and not the wave, so he's not going to be able to out-clear. So I can just clear and get totem now. I'm going to go ahead and love my wall. If he plays weird, I might be able to kill. Heal up a good bit with Death Soul. So we got our pots going. He hasn't taken any damage because he's a OP vamp. That's fine. This is dash down again. Get my hammer on cooldown. Get my three on cooldown as well. His one's about to be back up because it's an OP ability, so I'll pop a pot. He really do be uh, using his abilities on me. Hit the raw double tap, not bad. I might have to pop my wing shard here to secure this. I'm just going to go ahead and do it. Even if I didn't need it there, I like using that stuff early just so I can uh, get it back sooner. Nice, able to stun that and avoid his root. I can hit him a little bit. His dash down for a while, and I hit really hard with Thor Auto's early game because of your passive. Oh no, the double tap missed. His double tap missed as well. He might try and dash on me here. I'm gonna save my wall for that. 
Oh, that's unfortunate. They're both low. That was his beads though, and I have my TP up, so it's really not that big of a deal. I should have killed the, the Thoth though. Thor double tap has been so weird for a couple years now. I swear they like changed the ability not too long ago. That's how you spell Thoth, if you didn't know. Honestly, might be able to kill, especially if I hit the double tap into a stun. All right, we'll take that. That was clean. <laughs> I was going to maybe try and hammer past him and then uh, wall him off and just auto him down. But, you know, when you, when you have 10k worshippers on Thor, I don't know if I actually have 10k, but 5k? Sometimes you just make the plays, you know? And my team's actually getting a bit owned right now, which we love to see. The, the average smite player, your team's getting owned, they're like, God, I hate smite. I don't want to play this game. Me? I'm different. I like it when we get owned. That death wasn't even that bad, like I said. We force the Thoth beads. In fact, eh, we probably don't kill him in an all-in here. He is in lane. I'm just gonna poke him. Get poked a good bit ourselves, not gonna lie. Gotta have three points in our hammer now, so... It will hit very hard. I consider just going into the air there just because he has no beads and if I hit my ult, he's probably just dead. I'm gonna play back for his poke here. It's the one's coming back up. Don't want to be in range for it. That's his dash. Ooh, we missed. I'm just gonna commit to the clearing the wave now. He's gonna have to clear the wave. And he should be hitting the wave with his abilities right now because he was poked, so he needs to get that vamp strat sustained back. This is one down though, so this is just for free. Four points in the hammer now, that is huge. Didn't hit the auto, he wants to dash as well, that's why he's pathing like that. He's trying to hit me with the root, I'm just gonna go in the air here. He probably hears me or sees me, but who cares. Maybe he doesn't see me, I'm just gonna auto him down with wing shard. Oh, I thought he would die to that. Oh, I thought he would die to that. I mean, his, his dash is down for a while. Surprised he didn't see or hear me, or maybe he did, and he's just like, all right, screw it. We're just going to go for the wave, but he didn't even clear the whole wave. Um, so a lot of times with uh, on most characters, I see a, a mistake that people often make is that they instantly use their ability when they're still in auto attack range. If you have an ability that is longer than your auto attacks, you want to keep autoing them until they're out of range of your auto attacks, just barely. Then you use the ability that does damage outside of the auto range. Does that make sense? Sort of maximize your value because if you just instantly use the ability that um, is outside your auto range, when you're still in auto range, then you're just wasting your your your, uh, your kit's potential there, basically. Because you want to... As long as you're in auto range, you want to be hitting those autos, you know? That leaves it at 1 HP. That's pretty funny. Well, we'll clear. Why am I going against you? I'm a scrub. Imagine I said something back like, yeah, I could tell. <laughs> something, <laughs> something messed up. Uh, my jungler's in left. I might get our Tiki on cooldown, especially because it's a purple Tiki and I want that for my auto attack Thor build. Just the way the cookie crumbles sometimes though, my friend. Yeah, it's high res matchmaking. Tiki's coming back up soon. That is the purple Tiki. Kind of low mana, but we get a we get a good bit back from our death toll. It's pretty easy to secure stuff as Thor just because your your double tap if you time it well it hits really hard. It's like there I hit it like I threw my hammer out at like 600 HP or 500 HP or whatever, and then like three as it was coming back. And if you time that like perfectly, then it'll, it'll do a lot of burst damage. I wonder if Thaw solo actually has some viability into like uh, other mages, you know? Just because he has the range, he can maybe punish like an Anubis solo, a Hades solo. Let's go Hastened. Hastened is a bad item, but I am auto attack Thor at the end of the day, so like, <laughs> how can I complain? Well, he's kind of walled off here. I thought he might dash into the wall, but he didn't. He's not as much of a scrub as he thinks he is. Nice, we were able to hit the raw double tap. Perhaps it's not bugged after all. 
Honestly, I'm still riding the high of that Czechia, I guess. Check it, like, Eastern Europe is still really hard for me. Oh, we missed the raw double tap. But he dashes in! Oh, I avoided his route, so he's just dead. I'll pop my shard to get in range. Uh, my mom might take the kill. My kill, buddy. Don't try and take away all my hard work. CDR buff and totem are coming up. This guy's hitting the Bastion, so... I want to make sure I get credit for that. You gotta either have hit it or be near it when it dies. Wait, did I not get credit for that? I didn't see gold pop up. What was I saying? Oh yeah. I was gonna say, uh, I'm still pretty bad at, like, Europe is still pretty hard. I mean, depending on the country. If it's like Eastern Europe, uh, or Balkans, definitely Baltics. Baltics are really hard. Um, then I'm, I'm, I'm gonna struggle, but... Starting to learn some of the ballers and everything, so that's good. Her ult should end. I wasn't able to. I wasn't able to hit my ult, but he's dead either way. We get the double tap. He's just in range. Nice, that's huge. And we got the gooseberry stack. I noticed that when I was clearing the wave before. We started owning. Even though my team was getting owned, we started owning. We brought it back. I'm up a big time. Blue Tiki would be huge in any other scenario, but I'm auto attack Thor. I don't need that Blue Tiki. Just hogging the wall here to make sure I get credit for these minions. Nice. I'll save some mana here. Why not? Get some mana back with my Death Soul and just clear it away with my autos. <laughs> Honestly, I'm such a nice lead and playing such a good character that I could probably just wait out until my TP's back up. I'm pretty safe. Just TP back in with my item again. I'll just clear. Don't know where he's going. Maybe to back camps. Keep getting CDR buff. If you get this all game plus totem, you get such a good gold lead. Like, that just gave me 66 gold. That's quite nice. I could wall this guy off just for fun. Ooh, nice little backwards dash there to get to his wave after the wall ran out. Well, now we're up 3k. That's a pretty good lead. I mean, most of it's on me. I'm up 2.2k. The thing is, even though I'm going a troll build, the early game it really isn't that much different just because the build isn't even online yet. So it's still same old, same old Thor laning phase. Um, I wanted to go Oboe just because it's troll. I'm going to have no power, but... We'll go, we'll go with the, uh, we'll go kin size next. Maybe XE. Maybe XE kin size. Just go kind of like an ADC build sort of thing. TP was coming back up. I could have waited for that. I'm also lagging around. Try and grab that harpy. Bring it over here. Oh, there's the hasten. <laughs> there we go. I'm getting this on cooldown since my mons and left again. I don't advise taking your jungler as a soul laner. Um, like, especially you guys out there doing it. I mean, if you're a really good player and, you know, you can carry games, then it's a little bit different story, but would not recommend it. But scenarios where your jungler is just in left and they're there a lot, like, it is good to get it on cooldown. They don't, if they keep not coming back to it as well. <laughs> He's like trying to juke my wall or something. He does have two T breastplate. I mean, I'm quite ahead, so it's not that big of a deal. But my abilities aren't going to hit that hard. It's my auto attacks that are going to slam. Toxic Hacker is back in the game. By the way, look at my team's names. Maximum Spooks, that's a good name. Then we got I Shoot Blanks. I feel like I've maybe recorded a video with that guy in the game before. I'm kind of letting this thought farm. Probably could punish him even more, but... We're vibing. This dash. Still doesn't have his full breastplate. Maybe rotate mid here. Probably should just realistically back and TP with my power spike. Oh, hey, Scylla. Oh, hey. You gotta hit that. It's fine. That should be good. He did hit the double tap. I go back in here. And I hit those. My TP's up, so 
I'll just back in TP in. <laughs> Obviously, it was a little bit troll. That's actually a bit close. I didn't think it would be that close, but I am full damage, so. We'll get the XE. Start working on a kin size. I, su I suppose I could go crit, but I kind of don't want crit. I just want to sit there and keep autoing with, the with consistent numbers. They did not see me TP in here, so I might catch them off guard. Try and wall between. Nice. I hate wall between them both, so you can keep chasing. <gasps> He's going to get ulted. Oh my god, the Mulan 3 is already back up. I just want to auto this guy. Still going to dash in? She did not dash in, which is surprising. Oh my god, this attack speed. This is kind of awkward. Souls behind me. <laughs> I do be auto attacking her down. <laughs> nice, we were able to hit that. It was a little bit lucky because he dashed or walked into it. Aussie proc. No, his double tap hit. And he got the shutdown off it. And I used my beads. Dang it. I thought the Aussie proc would save me there and I could sit there and auto him. But still a damage plus throw double tap. It's going to hurt. No problem though. That was funny. <laughs> Just autoing the, the move on down. Literally bonk bonk. Dead for a while though. I guess that's the worst part. Honestly, while well, we're dead. Let's just go next round for fun. I mean, this looks like Brazil. Wait. With red? Is that ever Portugal? Oh, Ecuador. I suck. Never mind. <clears throat> Edit that out. Edit that out. Whoa. I'll just auto attack this totem down real quick. It's the last of the game because it ends at 15 minutes. I can rotate here, though. Get some high wards out. I mean, I doubt in a game like this, fire is ever going to be, like, threatened, but I'm going in the air, air here. This could be a good bait by our team. Soul's dash is still down, so I'm going to land on her. Nice. I might be able to catch this guy. Because I have hastened. Oh, he almost got his wall off. It wouldn't have mattered, I don't think, but... Nice stun. And the Hasten <laughs> proves useful once again. Hasten Thor new meta. I mean, we won that fight really hard, but they did get a tier two off of it, which is actually not too bad. A tier two at 15 minutes is pretty good. We'll run back, right? Pushing our waves, 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 always very important. I shoot blanks has purchased a horrific emblem. Nice. I was gonna go do these backs, but my mom probably runs out of base this side to do them. I'll just do that little chest. Oh, she went left, so I probably could have done it, but it's okay. I said last item in the game, but it wasn't. Wait. Doesn't it despawn at 15 minutes? Why did it spawn again? I'm confused because I killed it at 1445. Does it like take into account like when it dies and it would do it one more time since it was still before 15 minutes? That's probably what happened. Be careful left. I could probably back and TP left. I don't have quite enough gold to upgrade it though. I guess I'll just commit. I wanted to get my kin size there, but better I just uh, TP and be here. Try and save him. Nice, we were able to. Nice, I did the thing there where I got out of range with my auto, so I used my three. Try and save our Ares here. No, Ares! We do be auto attacking down though, trying to avoid this crush. No, oh, pop it, dude! Get that, so the crush doesn't go on cooldown until you actually pop it. Oh, she beads. That will hit me, but it's, that's like kind of a bruiser thought, so. We can just do gold. I do have Aussie lifesteal, but we do need Kukulkan here to actually do it. I don't think they'll be coming to contest just because they were low and it looks like the Kukulkan was forcing them out. Oh, I'm on HP! Kukulkan, tank it for us! This Kukulkan! What a greedy little devil. 
letting us die to it. To be honest, I what I've I noticed that like I doubt that it's even that he's trying to let us die. It's that he doesn't even real like he doesn't recognize that we're low HP and that he needs to tank it. You know, say so that the average player probably just isn't even paying attention to something like that. Funny enough, I'd say the average my player is probably just focused on like literally looking at their ability icons at the bottom of the screen and trying to hit their abilities almost like always. They probably rarely look at the map. They probably rarely look at their other teammates to help them. No, I'm not saying that's what's happened with Skukulkin. I'm just saying in general. Got some more wards that we can get high side. My wards actually ran out before. Get one above Pyro. This Pyro is up, and it's always good to have that one because they can't really deward it, and it'll show you when they're on it or when they cross over to it. Guy's no actives. Too bad I'm rooted and crippled. Can we do this little guy? We should group up and do some objectives here. I can stun out the ability so we don't get team wide sundered. They do have good steel potential with Silla. Oh, and Thoth! That's unfortunate. They must have had a ward on that or something. We could have waited for Kukulkin. He would have helped us not only DPS it, but definitely burst it if he ulted it. Kukulkin has one of the best objective secures in the game. This guy still basically only has two items. I might just hammer in and freaking wall him. Oh, he almost caught his dash. That was actually so close. He's getting ganked and left. We're kind of just not doing anything right now. We're at the point, I mean, at 20 minutes, you'll see like pro teams and everybody just group up and pull objectives. Should honestly be doing that. I'm just trying to land on the Scylla. I don't know if she heard me. Looks like she didn't. He's just dead. I should have just full comboed him because his actives were down still, I think. But whenever you're playing Thor and you know some of these actives are up, you don't really want to sit there and full combo him because they're just going to beat and get away from your your full combo and then you won't be able to chase them down. No, Kukulkin, don't chase the Mulan support out. That's unfortunate. Cool, can die for chasing that guy. I need one more wave for my Death's Embrace. I guess I could go Death's Temper. It does give me attack speed and a bunch of auto damage, but it's only good around waves, sadly. Be careful, be careful, Ares. I'm gonna back and TP in. I'm gonna TP behind these guys. I can kill them. They're getting a little too ambitious here. Crib just backed. I can clear this wave, I'll get Death's Embrace stacks, and I will be slamming. I'm gonna go after this Mulan. Hello, Mulan. I got it with my gooseberries. No shot. I was thinking about beadsing. Oh, you gotta hit that, Scylla. No, dang it. I'm surprised she dashed away right away. She didn't know my beads. Uh, beads that. Oh, be careful. There's a Thor here. I need to heal. I don't have death toll anymore, so I don't really heal as much. Ares, run, buddy. Oh, good, good coconut. Oh, both active Thor. Okay. Wait, kill this guy. Kill both these guys. I only hit Thoth, sadly. Oh, I hit Thor. Nice. Oh, he did hammer right in front of them. Surely they can kill him. Nice. Unfortunately, I got shut down again. Yo, help him! Where's our Mamon at? You're level 20, Mamon! Help out the squad! You'll kill everybody. Uh-oh. Nice. Yo, don't be afraid! You're literally mommy compared to these guys. These are your children. Oh. You could tell that was a console uh, turn there. The way he slowly turned to the right. I guess he doesn't have his starter upgrade. Ain't <laughs> hey, no problem. Um, Let's get ferocious. Why not? Let's bring a, fer a ferocity the rest of this game. I think uh, probably just go dominance or oboe last item. 
both will give me attack speed. Dominance obviously probably better for because I need more pen to slam these tanks, but Oboe probably more fun. Really just need to group up and do some objectives, guys. If they're smart, they could go fire here. We don't have any wards. That still has three down. If he hit his chains, this is... Oh, he hit his chains. So this still just has to... I was about to say, that was about to be a sick combo. But we got gold, so it's fine. Oh, I'm dead. Curses. They caught my hammer. My team got gold though. Oh, no, barely didn't hit the Thor before it got in the air. And my beads are down, so I just got punished pretty hard. Oh! Izanami's not there with them either. We're probably all gonna get wiped here. Nice. Get him, Izzy! One HP! Oh! No, 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 just no, no. Oh! Oh! Late beads as well. That's okay. They can maybe get fire off this if they go straight there. Oh yeah, the thoughts just going the whole the full build. I can TP in. This actually might not be that good for them. All my beads and everything up. Hopefully they'll take some damage from it. Scylla's not on it. She placed a ward for me. I'm just gonna walk in before I ult. See what the situation's looking like. Thought did just dash. Try and hit the Charybdis here. She does the majority of the damage. I'm going in the air now. I might be able to steal. Actually, I'm going to try and kill their carries. If I hit both of these, this is going to do a lot of damage. Try and beads. I probably can't chase them out. They're just all here. Oh, what the heck? I'm good, though. Let's see, he hits me with that. Should still be good. I can get out of range. Even if his dash is back up. Oh, they got another fire off of them, which is good. They're dead for it, though. Kind of slammed him. Unfortunately, we couldn't kill the Charybdis. She just threed away. After killing her, I might have been able to steal fire. It was very low. Oh, hello, Charybdis. This Charybdis has no active. She's trying to go right to kill the Titan. Oh, there's a move on here as well. And no beads old. I probably can't do much to him. Maybe I can take this for now. <laughs> no, he's saying awesome. My ult is still down. Careful, he's an army. Probably go in now. Hit both their carries. Nice. Oh, careful, Aries. Carries, Aries. Bars. Kind of want my ult to be back up. We have Kukulkin. This should be good. I'm just auto attacking this thought down. I will, but wait. How did I not hit the Mulan? Wait, what? How did that not hit the Mulan? That's unfortunate. That got me killed because she ended up hitting her pole into a Sil ult. I shouldn't be 3 -ing. That was a bad 3 by me. Even though it did good AoE damage, I just need to auto-attack. That's the whole point in my build. Oh my goodness, that character. Nice job. Still ended up being a good fight. Alright, let's go to Oboe. For fun. <laughs> this build has quite fallen off quite fast, though. This is why you don't build characters like this uh, in this way. There is a method to the madness, though. And I will, uh, to have to get the right fight going. Oh, gank. He's hammered. Why did he seem tanky? Is it just Magi's plus Protector? Hmm. I guess he doesn't have the best build either. I'm TPing in. I'm TPing in. Let's get in there. Oh, my God. I swear there's, an like, an interaction or a bog with TP where your ward disappears while you're TPing there. It just always happens. Without fail, happens every single time I voice might. Something sinister is occurring. Oh, 
We do Pyro. This has turned into quite the game, though. 27-26. Got our Death Embracer, our Death Temper stacks there. I can take the bomb, I guess. I really want to go run somebody down with Hastened. They all have a lot of mobility, though, and a lot of safety. It's, it's kind of crazy. Be careful. Be careful left. They still have fire on some of them. We shouldn't be fighting. Ares might be dead, though. Kind of a sitting duck. We don't really want to fight them when they have fire still. No problem. If it's just one person, I can easily 1v1 them, and if it's multiple people, I can just ult away, so this shouldn't be... should be fine. Plus, I can bomb this if I need to. I'm gonna save the bomb for now. Oh, I'm gonna go ahead and use it since that's just dash. Might be able to kill this guy. Just gonna auto him down. <laughs> that is awesome. I wish I still had the bomb for the Phoenix, though. I mean, if he's dashing in front of me, I just commit to the tower. He thinks the tower is safe, but I have the bomb. Just kind of baited him. There's a Sylvan, right? I think she dashed. I'm just going to go in the air see what happens here. She probably heard me. Oh, there's multiple people here now. I shouldn't go in. Maybe the red's up or something? Oh, nice it is. I'm going to go ahead and take this. I don't get a Tiki from it, sadly, but maybe I can... Uh... Eh, it's fine. Go on his trash. <laughs> okay. We really bonked that Thoth to death. <laughs> it's quite funny. I'm gonna go ahead and back, get my beads upgraded, get a 500 pot. <clears throat> Even though we died, I mean, I got a tier 2, which helps my team out, gets them some gold and XP. Ooh, Mulan's coming in low here. I kind of want to hit her. Damn it, she didn't actually commit. I don't want to hammer in there or TP because they're playing the corner up there. Kobo's in for 127. Not bad. No ults for a bit. Kind of want to stall for my ult to be back up. Looks like they are on it. Yep, the fire rings just spawned. That's how you know it's been pulled for a little bit, actually. Did they see me? I don't think they saw me. Hit both their uh, people here. Some good damage on Charybdis. I'm just going to hammer away for now because I got poked a bit and my ult's still down. I'm going to keep looking high side, though, for this Charybdis. Just play a little sneaky. I might be able to kill her. Nice. She's just dead. Now I can go in the air here in a second. Actually, I'll just commit to walking at them. Three until I get in auto range. Now I'm in auto range. She's just dead. Where are they? Oh, Silva's over here. <gasps> no, I missed. No, Kukulkan stole my Quadra. I could have got a penta there. My double tap would have hit as well, I, for sure. I was in the zone. That was going to be a raw double tap. We could probably just end. Attack the Attack the Titan. Attack the Titan. We definitely can end after this. Are you still healthy as well? Yo, don't tank this as an army. This guy has magis, but I can just walk him down. Like this. Oh my god, so close. Yo, Maman, come here. We can just end if we commit to this. Stun the Thor. Oh, he beats it anyway. Oh, he has Magi's. Damn, that could have been a Quadra slash Penta. But Kulkin didn't steal our kill. That's okay, though. That was fun. That was a fun team fight as well. I was literally just holding left click walking at them. Uh, turns out you can turn every character into Kali. A zero skill. Just hold left click if you just build them correctly. Correctly. That's not the correct way to build. That was, that was troll. And it won't actually work. It's not a good thing to build. So don't try it at home. Finding myself having to dis to say that disclaimer more and more because so many people complain <laughs> for some reason. <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that gameplay. 40k damage on the auto attack door. We'll take it. Doesn't matter what the build is. I mean, it is the four after all. So, um, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. Who do we have up next?
Mori, okay, I've been playing a little bit more so lately, so we might be warmed up on that. So yeah. Anyway, stay safe and healthy as always, guys. I'll see you in the next one.